Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode going into the Cursed Estate once again. We are here set up with a group ready to go out. We have uh, Lady Vixen here who is going to come out. Uh, she is the renewed Lady Vixen. I'm going to get into a diary entry about this whole mess before we jump into this mission just to make sure that we can go ahead with this and make sure there isn't any name changes needed because as you guys know there were some uh, some things that went down but with her being level 2 I want to get her to level 3 as quick as possible. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. Um, and then we've also got Little One who we haven't brought out in a while. We've got Renetta and then we've got Basilla. I've gone with this party selection because we have a very movable group. This character has Forward One, which is really nice on the Noble Obligation. We have a lot of movement skills here, a lot of movement skills here. Um, although we only have one that sends us back, which isn't ideal, but still. Um, and then we have this, which is able to be used from any position, so I feel like that's pretty useful. And then if we want to do party heal, we can make sure she's in the back line. Uh, but either way, that's the group that we've got set out. Um, now, let's go over our diary entries and see what we've got going on. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. So this is again by Meme Police. This is Duchess Entry 1, The Wake Up Call. Vixen was shaking with anger, which made it impossible for her to hit the gargoyles with a sword. Transformation uh, into horrendous beast didn't help. Furthermore, it got worse on her. Alas, Vixen dropped dead. But suddenly, Vixen woke up sitting at the table. There was a familiar, beautiful garden around, where people around in beautiful outfits spent the evening to accompaniment of charming music. Vixen examined herself. Her skin was a healthy colour. Instead of a massive iron mask, she was wearing a carnival mask. Was it all a bad dream? When she tried to remember what happened, she had already forgotten what exactly happened. Sighing with relief, Vixen took a glass of wine and got up from the table and went for a walk. After such a strange event, it is better to refrain from communicating with others. After a while, a man approached her, with whom they talked for a while, until Vixen suddenly began um, hearing the beating of her heart, which was getting louder and louder. So loud that she stopped hearing what the other person was saying to her. Dropping the glass of wine, she clutched her chest until she saw the skin of her arm begin to turn pale. And then, Vixen woke up again, but for real this time. Although the memories of how she ended up in the grave disappeared, but the sick memories of that damned ball returned to her. At the same time, the memories of how she swore an oath of loyalty to her heir in prison. So it must be, that girl with the glowing eyes wasn't lying. She gave me a second chance. Now the important thing is not to miss it, Vixen said aloud, and then began to dig her way to freedom. Two minutes later, Vixen was free. Even though she was covered in dirt, it would be nice to hide the traces of her crawling out of the grave. But Vixen did not come up with this idea. She went looking for the nearest water source to wash off the grave earth. In addition to hygiene, Vixen needed to pack practice and equip uh, upgrades in the future. After the resurrection, some of her pre previously known techniques were forgotten, and the armor with her uh, armor and weapons were rusted after a little time. So this is a really good backstory as for why she's now a level two, and I just love the fact that she literally crawled her way out of the grave. Now there is some risk associated with this mission. We're going on a level three with a level two, which gives us some initial stress. Um, so. We will see, but she does have this medic training, 25% healing received. I've also given her extra HP and extra resistances to give her the best possible chance of survival, or at least what I hope will be the best possible chance. And I think we've brought her out with a pretty good group. And also, I like the fact that Basilla is coming out with Lady Vixen, because as, as said in the backstory there, we got this second chance going on, so I'm curious to see how this goes. And the main reason we're going back into the wield once more is because we have the Novice Sword here, which is slight bit of damage and a 50% bonus to Resolve XP, which is going to be very, very good for power leveling certain heroes if we bring them in at a slightly lower level. As we're going on a long mission here, we're going to take out, uh, out a generous amount of food, even if it is too much. Uh, we're going to take out um, six shovels, and we're going to take out five of everything else, which is definitely overkill, I realise, but I'd rather go over than under. In fact, I don't, need, I don't need that many of these. Three of those, and then we need... It says 16, but I'll bring out a little bit more than that. 20, there you go. We don't have much inventory space other than that, so let's just go and see what we can do. 
Yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm raring to go. I'm hoping that this goes our way this time around. I think we've got a group that is well versed for taking on some uh, some foes here. The only thing I will say that we don't have a lot of is backline damage, but I'm hoping Renetta can cover off most of that. In terms of damage, we really have some high damage across the group here. Um, it's going to be some good stuff. Either way, let's jump on in and see what we can do and get into another diary entry while we wait. Because we do have a few today. So we start off with uh, Rokarin's An Odd Request Part 1. There is an odd silence in the room. As Basila stares over the mass of books at Chaos, seeming to be squirming in the chair that groans under the weight. Chaos, you want to speak with me about something? He continues to shift as he sighs. Come on now. Have I not shown you I will hear out anything uh, that you come to me with? He lets out a long sigh. It's about ba um, Bantareus and me. Ah, that pompous noble that stopped by before. Yes, ma'am. Though you don't know him like I do, he won't leave until he gets what he wants, and he will torture anyone to get it. The other mercenaries and battle siblings can handle themselves, but that's not who I worry for. The town. She looks with a grimace and nods. Well, I'm sure others won't take to the insult. As she says, the thrall sighs with his hands in his face. That's the problem. His father is quite an important man, and if anything was to happen to his son... The whole of Rodun Nation would be brought to um, where he last headed to, um, namely here. Pounding his fist on the desk, books turning over. Chaos, she says with a soothing turn. Sorry, ma'am, as he puts the books back. I have an idea, though, he says uh, as she looks with her eyebrows raised. Very interesting. I'm liking some of the backstories that we're really building up here. Also, can I just say... The the whole idea with Little One becoming this basically, like, little helper for the church, I love it. It's just absolutely the cutest thing ever. I'm really enjoying that whole arc with uh, with Little One here, so we'll keep on going with that. Of course, we do have the ability to cure Blight and Bleed and buff ourselves with this character as well, which is rather nice. And we do get a little bit of a, a scare here right off the bat. So we do have armor piercing here, so I'm going to go for this. That's a huge, huge chunk of damage off the bat there. 22 without a crit is going to be really good. I have a feeling Little One is a little overpowered, but he does only work in, in movable builds, so there is that. Um, I mean, already taken care of. I like that. Um, oh, we can only do this from the back line. Doesn't she have an attack that she can do from the front too? I thought she did. I thought I thought she could do this from the front too. Didn't she have an attack that she could do from the front line? Am I wrong about that? Or, or is this that attack? Okay, this is that attack. Okay, my bad. It's just a repost. Okay, I was slightly confused there. She does have heal on crit as well. That's why I've given her so much HP because I believe it's percentage heals, which is of course what we want here. We're definitely going to be buffing up a little one as much as we can here for the crazy damage that he can output. And you went for the wrong enemy there, because we can do that pretty easily to you. And there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll get rid of that. We'll keep going. So this is exploring 90% of rooms, so we'll just see what we can do. Scouting is, of course, going to be real nice here. We're not looking for anything really particular in terms of loot here. We'll get what we can get, but if we don't end up getting much, it's more about trying to level Lady Vixen back up and get our armor upgraded and stuff again. We can definitely do that. We'll see what we have for uh, taking a look at this here. I've walked right into the trap. Completely my bad. That's a lot of stress that I didn't have to take. Hopefully we should hit a lot of crits with this build though, the setup, and we shouldn't have to deal with that too much. Fortunate there. Always want to go for the back line first here. Nice. Debuff with that dodge is good. I'm, I'm liking these movable builds. Crits received is also good. Add the dodge and that onto you. Try and go for crit heals. We don't have any stress heals coming in, so... Her stress could still get out of hand. We just got to be careful. Obedience, we can break guard with Renetta, so I'm, I'm happy for that. Good dodge as well there. And the curse coming in. Ah, just, just the stress, actually. Uh, armor piercing. Go with that guy. The neck ripper could hurt, but we got a dodge on that. Lovely. 
Um, and then let's go for a buff on you because you're going to attack next. Bypass that guard. Bring you forward. Beautiful. We're not going to do a lot of damage with Lady Vixen here, but I like having her out anyways. Clawing herself out of the dirt. And bringing herself back, I love that. I just, it's just great. Decent damage on this guy. Even better damage there. Heal ourselves for a good amount. Try and offset some of that bleed. And Lady Vixen even gets the finish there. Lovely. So we've already got a lot of stuff here we can't take. Um. Oh, I forgot. Basilla has the ability to get Mire Antiquities now. Antiques or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, so that's kind of nice. We can try and get some of those. Holy Water I'll get rid of for um, the deeds. I don't think I'll need Holy Water that much. Keep on moving back. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, good, good. Yeah, literally, it's just going to be Lady Vixen's stress that's going to be the biggest problem here. I think damage-wise, we're going to pretty much wreck every bit of combat. Oh, did I miss this before? I think I did. Um, we're going to pretty much wreck every bit of combat we come across. The flow of otherworldly corruption. Do you have to use a shovel here? It's annoying, but we need to make room with the shovels anyway, so I don't mind. We'll see what lies and waits for us. Hopefully we can get a good bit of scouting here and not too many traps, because I feel like they're going to come hot and fast. And of course, I throw away the holy water and the game gives me an opportunity to use it straight away. Stealth. Unfortunately, we don't have the ability to see through stealth, I don't think, on anyone. Oh no, we do. Nice. We have bypass stealth here. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Holy hell. That was a lot of damage. Indeed obliterated. Not quite obliteration there. Go for a self-heal. I love the fact that it buffs dodge as well. By the way, just, just so you guys know, I did mention this in a previous episode, I did actually nerf Basilla's healing. It used to be even stronger than it currently is, but I did nerf it because I feel like it is a bit too strong. Um, and I, I, I want it to be somewhat balanced. Classes that are completely overpowered, I want to make sure to balance. Little One might be another one up for us balancing, to be honest, because Little One is very, very strong also. We are going to have to deal with more of these little things, but the damage should mean we can kill them pretty quick. I love the fact that Little One's just this basically cute little handyman that helps the, helps the local church and then goes out and just slaughters everything. I really like that. Oh, dude, why did I throw away that holy water? That's been a bad decision. Do we got to remember, we might end up getting fighting some Night Terrors because we're uh, with Renetta here. That could be a plausibility. We're going to have to deal with that as it comes. Two Jades. We've got some good stuff here. Let's let's just take money rather than um, thingies here. Got a fight here. This is armor piercing, isn't it? Yeah. Take out this guy first. And... Buff you for damage, accuracy, and crit. It's a good amount of crit boost as well. 8% is quite a lot. And it's lasting through from the other battle as well, actually. That's kind of nice. Obviously, that's not going to do a lot, but it will activate our repose, which is nice. Um, we'll go for a kill on there. 44 damage. Lovely. Stop him buffing things. There's that repose coming in. More blight is unfortunate. Oh, 29 damage on you. Yeah, little one is... Little one's doing some good stuff. Oh, I've not seen that attack before. There you go, there. Dark Wraith. Unfortunately, we don't have a Dark Wraith yet. And also, that's not a particularly good trinket anyways. Quickly check out what this Curio is. Boy, what has the church been teaching you? You almost got a disease there. It's going to be funny when he gets a disease that just isn't humanly possible for someone that is essentially just a skeleton. <laughs> I feel like, um, I feel like our 
Oh, there's another class in our roster that would really get on with Little One. I can't remember the name of the class now. Uh, it's it's the one that um, is smelling everything recently. <laughs> what's what's their name? One second. Okay, yeah, it's Never. Never. I, I don't know why, but I completely blanked on the name there. Apologies. But yeah, Never. Um, the person that's been smelling everyone recently. We've got some diary entries from them, I believe, coming up soon, actually. But I feel like them and Little One would actually get on quite well. Can you stop measure. touching things, please? <laughs> I kind of like that Little One is curious. That, that that tracks. I feel like that tracks pretty well. Scouting here is good. Got another battle over this way. We only need to explore 90% of rooms, so we don't have to do this battle, but I feel like we might as well. I think so far things are going pretty well for us. Um, we need to be a little cautious. Ooh, we've got a towering ectoplasm here. That could be problematic, but with a surprise, that's quite nice. Take out those things first. Extra prop when you uh, get a crit as well is real nice. Crit for 30 on both of them. Slowly but surely relieving that stress. There you go, good heal. And in comes the support. Yeah, had a feeling that was going to happen sooner than later. Nice kill on that one straight away. Probably should have taken out the big one first, but there you go. Another crit for 30. Crits for 30, coming hot and fast, constantly. We do need a full group heal here coming up. I'm hoping we can get that before the combat is over. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Almost everyone up to full, not quite. And there you go. Yeah, battles at the minute are kind of a joke. We're, we're, we're just absolutely plowing through them. I should be looting with Bacilla, I'll be honest. I've, I've been forgetting about that because I could get more uh, antiques. There you go, look. So Bacilla, as, lo as, as, well, blah, 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 as well as a few other people, can now get the same loot as Antiquarians. It's basically a way for us to get a little bit of extra loot. Um, the Air is one of those, as well as the Falconeer is another one of those. Go for big damage here. You're going to be a little problematic, but nothing we can't handle. Just, yeah, keep on wailing on this guy. Try to stop that tree branch stomp, whatever you want to call it. Mainly going to be using pretty standard stuff with her at the moment. Go for another power buff there. Confusion spores is annoying, but this is a very movable group, so it's not a problem. We've set ourselves up to be very good at defending against that. I'm going to heal myself up. Take you out so you can't buff anything anymore. Or bring in any uh, more of you. Blight's coming in kind of everywhere at the moment. We'll get rid of that Blight. I'll try and take you out first, actually. You've got pretty low HP. Wow, nice crit, nice crit. And a nice crit heal as well. Okay, that's the good bit of stress relief there. That was double stress relief. Scamper again. Only buffs you, it doesn't buff him. Um, hoping for a crit there, sadly not. Beautiful damage. Size has no intrinsic merit. Unless... There you go. That wasn't too bad at all. Lash out. I was just about to say it's going to do some good damage, but it missed anyways. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. There you go. Another antique there. So we'll go get rid of that, and we'll get rid of. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's tricky. Get rid of the deeds. The deeds are good, but I'm going to get rid of them. Rearrange our group. Let's get back over to this uh, room, and then I think we'll camp there. We might have to deal with snakes and get some stress, which will be annoying, but it is what it is. But this this group, I think movable groups tend to just be really goddamn good. Nice damage there. Honestly, just take that guy out. Those things are so goddamn annoying, I'd rather just have it dead. You've not gone yet, so I'll buff you. Ah, not enough of a buff to get the insta-kill. Still. We're getting a lot of dodges as well today, which is really nice. And no kineticism, whatever it is, that spawns an extra, so... Got lucky there, too. 
What's the sensor do? Oh, it's blight. Okay, I wasn't sure. A little bit more stress coming in there. That's fine. Take you out before you spawn more. I was hoping we wouldn't get a kill there so we'd get healing, but it is what it is. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Keep it moving. But yeah, I gotta remember to loot with her because I, I didn't do that for the first portion of this mission and I probably missed out on quite a lot of extra bits of money. But yeah, the air I realize is a powerful class, so it doesn't really need the boon of extra gold. But I feel like it's very fitting for her class, and we all decided in the Discord that it would be a, a good idea as a buff in general. Okay, let, let's do this room before we camp, actually. Um that's key. A fortune. Wow. Waiting to be spent. Uh, uh, medical herbs, not the greatest. Shouldn't be using torches, really, until I camp, but oh well. We do have some armor piercing here, so we'll go for the front line. That's armor piercing, so yeah, go for them. Wow! An insta-kill on one of those. Dude, your health is really low. What happened? Oh, I really should have taken out the back line, actually, there. It is what it is. This guy's... The madman's going to get some, um, yeah, stress coming out. Horror. Not ideal. It's 12. No, 16 horror, actually. 16 stress, sorry. And the swing as well. Another acquisition. Uh, accusation, even, coming out. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Kill that guy. Try and get a heal in here before we kill. Wow. Absolutely an insane heal there. We can't get a kill here, so let's just do the prop. The blood quickens. Beautiful stuff. Executed. What's this? As ah, to torch below ones I'm just not interested in because I don't play like that. Yeah, let's, let's move to the next room, because it clears up our horror at least, and we can prioritize who we want to de-stress. Stop using torches, you fool. Stop touching things. Oh, I walked right into a trap as well. God damn it, everything. Everything's going wrong. Well, we've got six torches left for the whole mission. Right. A spark without kindling. We've got plenty of food, so let's just do this for the stress relief. Uh, we want to go here first for the prevent nighttime ambush. And everything else I'm not too sure on. So, scouting's real goddamn good. Um, self only 30% prot. So I think... How much is this going to be? Um, three. Okay, so let's do that, that, and that. And then let's rest. We'll see if we get snakes. We probably will. I'm ready for the next battle. The yep, there you go. Stuck. A blazing star. We did get the snakes, which will jigger us around, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. We've got the ability to go through stealth here, so we're okay on that front. Take out the big boys first. We're going to take some stress here. It just is what it is. We're going to take some damage too. The quicker we do this, the better. We should be itch able to do this pretty darn quickly, I think. One snake taken care of. I'm just hoping we don't get too much stress on Lady Vixen here. Doesn't need it. Um, You've got repair, so I'm just going to do this anyways. Fuck it. The bleed could be pretty useful. It's all alright so far. I think we're doing this reasonably quickly. Go for our repose character, nice. More bleed on us though isn't ideal. The repose doesn't bl blight us though, which is good. I thought it would. Dude, the amount of bleed on you right now is kind of heavy. And there comes some blight. Oh no, nice, nice thingy. Do we have bandages? 
We we do currently have bandages. Nice. Um, heal up on you. Twelve is lovely, and we'll bandage next turn. Good stuff. This is, hasn't been too bad at all, really. Nice. And a little bit of stress relief there as well. I just think that's prot. I see. I should have used my thing to get through prot. Little one's been fine so far. Heal the party. Good stuff. Your stress jumped up quite a bit, my guy. Quite a bit. Well, there you go. We did it. We got through it. And we do get some stress relief for doing it, right? Beyond one's limits. I kind of would like to take the Aegis scales with us. It's not a necessity, but it would be a good idea. I'll get rid of the rubies for some Aegis scales. I think they're useful. Uh, and we do need another stack of money, really, so... Get rid of the shovels. I think we'll be okay without the shovels for now. Alright, I thought we got a bit of stress relief at the end of that. Clearly not. So our stress is not in a great spot right now. Um, yeah, let's go down here. Okay, stress is not ideal, but we do have another ability to camp. Remove some stress there. And purpose is made clear. Armor piercing, go for that. I was hoping for a crit there, but it is what it is. Go for you. You all have prot, actually. The, the, the prot is all across the board here. Not that bothered about those hits right now. That's a good crit, that's a good crit. Not only does it give us the heal, it does good damage too. Sets up our repurst, obviously. Party heal now, yeah. Get everyone. That literally put everyone to max. It's awesome. You keep going for the person with repurst, it's not going to work out for you. Armor piercing there, so we go for that. Armor piercing again, so we get the kill. These guys are going to blight, I realize, but... It's not all that bothersome. And you did it again, you fool. Should take out one of the bodies if we can. Again, go for the party heal, honestly. Doing good stuff. I think the fact that Nail Strike can reach so many locations is another thing that makes this guy quite powerful. It's kind of the he 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 seems similar power level to a shield breaker to be honest in terms of like versatility what they can do. There you go. Ends up being a good class to bring this did. Oh, I opened it with the wrong person again. Always do that. Not likely to get too many more emeralds. I'll just leave that for now. But yeah, I need to make sure I'm opening things with you, don't I? Okay. Oh, also, now that we're here, let's uh, stop and do a diary entry, because I did forget to read one during our thingy there. Um, so, we'll go into Celia's diary entry, Dr. Sanders Junkie. This is our werewolf. The handwriting is neat in fantasy cursive. Finally, a chance to show them what I can really do. I've just returned from a lengthy expedition with a handful of others, and while I won't say it went perfectly, I'm quite satisfied. I had never felt so free before. Not only was I allowed to be f uh, to free the beast, I was encouraged, and it did so well too. I decided to buy a few chickens to tear apart later. Here's hoping I can get to go out again sometime soon. Awesome. And then we'll follow up as well. Uh, this is by Gargoyle Guy. The smell of Beloved has been growing noxious le to noxious levels over the last week. At first, I believed it'd just be a strong wind picking it up from the northwest. But any time I visit the graves over the last two weeks, it's gotten stronger there. I believe some something of my beloveds must be buried there. Very, very interesting. Right, let's keep this moving. We do have a backstory after this to get into as well. 
Uh, nope, won't touch that. Thank God my little fella didn't decide to touch it as well. Right. Trap. First trap we can actually disarm. Nice one, little one. You know what you're doing. Bandages. Yes, please. Citrine. I'm not bothered. Right. Torches are very low right now. We've got to be careful. We've got to basically use camping to torch up. Coming up soon. Stress is getting to slightly, slightly high levels. Can't de-stealth you. They're too far back. That's our first miss this entire quest, so I'm not actually going to be that mad about that, because... Compared to some other quests. Okay, now I'm a little mad. But these guys, these guys have 24 dodge. Let's, let's at least say that. I know that you could have done with the heal, but getting that bleed on you is actually pretty good when you've got stealth. And you dodged as well. Very nice. Shriek coming in isn't ideal. But at least it's on one of our less stressed members. I don't want Renetta to take any more stress. Renetta's been through enough. Hopefully we don't get too many parasites here. We did get one. Ah, oh, and we got dead meat as well. Parasites are drawn to dead meat. That's going to be rough. At least we've got repose to, to work alongside that, but I'm hoping we can kill it before it gets a chance to feast. Yes, we did. Good, good. Because those things can be so goddamn strong, and they heal for so much as well. Right, you are dead in one more turn. Oh no, you're not bleeding anymore. We do have to actually attack you. There you go, get rid of you. Back to the nest. Is that stress? Yes, it's only a small bit of stress though. Doesn't happen often that they do that attack. I think it's only when they're left alone. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Oh dude, 18 crests. It's hard to leave that alone. But Nah, I'll take it over, my, over the bandages. Right, now we need to basically not use any torches um, until we camp. So I'm going to go through all this area without using any torches. Which could be detrimental to us, but I'm going to try it anyways. Two stress dealers in the back. The surprise is super helpful here. We need to take both of those out immediately. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's great. Can anyone hit that back line there? Get the kill. Not you, sadly. Ah, oh, the dodge. You've got so much dodge. I was hoping we could get you before you got an attacking, because you've got high speed, so you could do Doomsday or Acquisition. Uh, um, acquisition? Fusion? I don't know what, it, what, what it's called. Anyways, you could do that twice, and it could be problematic for us, is what I'm trying to say. Flash out. Ooh, don't kick my little one in the head. I'm going to do a heal with this guy next, I think. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. We critted with it as well. Awesome. Run for the old gods. I don't particularly mind that. Stress is getting out of hand now. We might get a check here. I don't think we're in heart attack region or anything like that, but still worth worrying about. Everyone gets a good heal there. Light and bleeded. Good kill. Good heal. Nice to kill. A victory, nonetheless. Okay, we'll use one torch here, just in case. Not a particularly bad fight. This guy can obviously lead to a lot of stress, but he, he goes down pretty quick. Even though he does have a lot of prop, but with the build we've got, he goes down pretty quick. Nice. Again, do a party heal here. Heal up the front too. Yeah, only four damage with you, but yeah, as soon as Renetta gets a turn, we can, even on non-crit, we can deal 20 damage and get him very, very close to death. Renetta hits pretty hard. There you go, look at that. Victory. 
two hits to kill it. Please don't spawn more things. We can kill you in one hit here, so don't. Nice one. Beautiful. Go for another stack of money. We'll, we'll hold off for now. And we will camp more once again. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. And this time we'll go with that. And we'll go with that. That. And that. I don't think we can fight snakes again, can we? No, we can't. Good. Cool. Okay. We keep moving. I, I up the scouting chance again for the small chance at a secret room here. Oh, balls. We do have de-stealth, so this isn't completely terrible. But stress levels, this is not going to be good. I was not expecting this. I don't remember how hard this fight is. Let, let, let me be honest. I don't remember how hard this fight is at all. I think we should be okay. I think we just go for him. Of course, he's going to block some damage to start with. Oh, God. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. We've, I think we've got the heals to, to stay relatively well-versed for this fight. It's a lot of damage there and horror. You're doing two attacks on you straight away. Great. A th no, no, no. Three attacks on my healer straight away. Great. Okay. Renetta needs to move back to take the position there. Which isn't ideal, but I need you in position so that I don't get hit for on myself here. Oh, honestly, just do the party heal again. Everyone needs healing. I'm going to do this for the prot and stuff. A brilliant confluence of skill. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. This is tricky, because I really don't want to move you. It puts us in a bad position for getting hit here, but I kind of have to. Dude, stop. Leave her alone. She's 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 chilling. Leave her, leave her be. She's got sh uh, stumble. Okay, that's fine. That works for us. That works for us. Can't party heal from here, sadly, but we only want to heal ourselves anyways right now. Debuff that dodge. Okay, this is going pretty well so far. Protect the crops. We can break guard. We can de-stealth, so that's fine. Good chop on the bird there. It's coming in. 10 damage isn't terrible. Good dodge. Ah, unfortunate dodge. The bear has a lot of dodge here. Heal you up. We can't de-stealth from here. I'm going to do this just to put her in position to take the damage because she has prot and stuff going on. Not ideal. Oh, dude, can you leave her alone, please? Dude, leave her be. My god, you're addicted. There's so many other better targets for you. How much more stealth do you have? What, what position do you need to be in to de-stealth? Okay, anything but the back line, essentially. That kills you, at least. I'm gonna do this to take our position. Huge heal there. Huge heal. She's got shuffle at the minute, so I'm hoping she doesn't shuffle out the way. Nah, skip a turn. I know I'll suffer stress, but I don't care. Good, good. I need the de-stealth. De not having de-stealth right now is completely screwing me. Because he just stays stealth until we, until we do this, so... Oh, wait. Okay. I didn't really think that's how that would work, but all right.
Oh, uh, wait, breaking guard there probably wasn't a good a good decision, right? It's fine. Pump, pump up the dodge on you, hopefully. Oh, dude, no, the shuffle. How dare you? You need to get back there. I need the D-stealth. Oh, you're D-stealth anyways. God damn it. Ugh. You've got such high HP, Paul. I don't care if he hits you. Good damage. Reap and sir. That's a bit of damage on us. No shuffle, though, which is nice. We're kind of trying to avoid that right now. And there's the kill. Okay. Unexpected, but that went actually really well. And we got ourselves the Jacko Lantern. Torch, torch burn is slower. Um, stress healing is increased. Scouting chance if high on torch and minus chance. That's really good. That's really good. Okay. Little bit scary, but this group actually was very, very well prepared for that. Was not intentional. But yeah. Must be carried home. Let's give everyone a little bit of food, because we're not going to need all this food. And I'd rather have everyone healed up a little bit here. Oh, she's walking to a trap straight away. This is the last room we need to do anyways. There you go. Cool. We'll, uh, we'll return to the Hamlet here. We don't need to do anything more. I think this group did a fantastic job there. And I think Lady Vixen should get a full level up from that one mission. Or at least very close. 41,000 from that mission. Awesome. And indeed she did. Awesome. Little one almost got a level up. Basilla and Renetta both did. Um, good stuff, I'd say. Good stuff. Let's return to the town. And first of all, unequip and reorder. Quickly check who else is on board here. We don't have anyone we want to bring on board right now. Check out what trinkets are available. Interesting. So sanitize would instead heal rather than stress heal for the exterminator. Exterminator, where are you? Let's take a look at that skill, shall we? So Delmar, so Sanitize, basically instead of stress healing at the start of combat, it would heal everyone at the start of combat and it would still do its other effects. And the minus to us would be lower speed and lower dodge. It does say friendly skill. Do we have any other friendly skills? No. So it would literally just affect Sanitize. But it would mean you could start every combat with a heal of five to everyone. I think that's pretty worthwhile, even for the lowered speed, so I'm going to buy that. I think we can definitely utilize that. Uh, I think that could be rather interesting. Um, and yeah, that, that, that does it for all of those. I we, like I said, we do have a backstory to get into here. We have the Falconer. Let me quickly check the name here um, and see what we can do. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Okay, so we've got Aphrodite here. Okay, an interesting one, an interesting name for sure. So let's enter that in, try and spell it correctly if I can. Um, Aphrodite, there you go. Cool, let's get into this backstory. It's by Blank Gaming, who is just returning to the writing squad after a sort of a, a break. Uh, so let's get into this. In the corrupted forest at night, a ritual was being prepared for the Talon Brigade, a sacrifice. Aphrodite had accidentally killed one of their hostages, and the mother Talon always follows her own word. An eye for an eye. As the Talons were preparing in the distance, a shaded figure swooped behind the cage. You don't actually think this punishment is justified, do you? You've been rattling your cage like a trapped raven for quite a while now, the Guardian said. This is the Guardian of Never, by the way. He quite often tried to free the victims trapped by the Talons, and for once he thought he could gain something. An ally. Yeah, and what of it? Nobody wants to get killed. Though it's not like you can help me much, even if I get out of here. These nutcases won't drop uh, me for anything. I thought the same too, truly. But as threatening as they are, they are also not really that good at their job. No offence, but I've been running uh, from them without breaking a sweat for a long while now. Say, would you like to come with me far um, to this faraway hamlet? You'll be welcomed and most l uh, likely protected from these nutcases. How does that sound? The Guardian puts his gloved hand on the lock, staring Aphrodite through his mask. Aphrodite took uh, a moment to ponder before noticing the guards coming back. Sounds like a plan. Get me out of here and we're out. First thing... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Uh, that's a really, really good backstory. Really like it. Uh, another 
great one to bring on with us. And as I said, they are able to find these um, antiques and things to gain us more money, which is going to be useful because we are struggling for money here and there. Um, and yeah, like I said, we do have a few more diaries to go into just to end off this episode before we finish off. So let's quickly go uh, through those. So first of all, we have part two from Roker and of the Odd Request. What would that be, Chaos? He lets out another sigh. Since killing that bastard isn't a good choice and I don't want to leave um, with him, there's another choice. As he hands a slip of paper to her, you can buy me. As she looks back at him stunned, I don't want to leave this place. It, it is hell, but sh um, to be sure... To be sure, but, and as she opens the note and double takes uh, at the number, looking back at him, as he looks proud, then ashamed at the words, I'm quite valuable to him. Chaos, she begins, but he cuts her off. I will not run, not anymore, not again. As he stands, this place is dark as hell, but it is a hell of my choosing, no one else's. As he takes a breath, this place, as bleak as it is, it is home to me, I have friends, family uh, and family I've made here even um, a lovely woman she's a widowed farmer a strong woman with a, f um, a fine young son he seems to be misty eyed with the uh, with the words interesting I kind of like that chaos is becoming a much more developed character like before he could barely speak and now he can actually lay down full sentences as she raised a hand as he continues I know it's a lot but I will pay you back uh, I'll pay you and this place back blood, coin, whatever you ask of me. I have had a taste of freedom and now um, I want it for good. If it is too much, I understand, ma'am. As he begins to leave, as she tries to speak, you don't need to answer now and I'll accept your answer either way. As he leaves the office, leaving Bastilla, staring at the price on the note. Very interesting. Let's continue on with the last little bits of um, Gargoyle Guy's diary entry here. I will, uh, I will not believe my sweet diary. In fact, I would not believe me if I had not seen it with my own eyes. Some background so I won't confuse your pages. Over the last few days, I've been taking a trowel to the soil when others were not looking. Some of this old fettered soil can be quite compacted in places, so I've had to put in some elbow grease. Ugh. My armor had dirt in its etchings. Wait, no, that's not the point. I used my trowel to dig up a spot where my beloved scent was most concentrated and I uncovered a wooden coffin. It was damp and softened by the week, week's rain. With a jab of the trowel, I cracked open a small hole in the wood, and within it, a hand holding the hilt of a fine blade. The hand looked fresh, as if recently buried, but the tombstone was worn by the weather and the soil was compacted by time. Something does bother me though. I'm not sure if it was the moonlight by which I worked or the shining of shadows, but I could have sworn I saw it. That finger, it twitched. So this actually might tie into the wake-up call of Duchess, potentially. Anyways, there's two more pieces to this diary entry here. First off, I'm sorry for getting dirt in your binding, sweet friend. I'll clean you later. This portion seems to be very hastily written. I had been slowly loosening the soil around the hands these past couple of days. Surely the twitch was just a trick of the moonlight. I know that if anyone would have seen me, it'd uh, be vilified for vile acts. But the scent of Beloved from that grave was impossible to overlook. My thoughts were consumed uh, by such drivel as, was I too late? Was my beloved already dead? But my thoughts were being twisted as I write, hidden behind the unmarked tomb. I have just watched um, my beloved rise from the grave. I've not, um, not the courage to approach, to think beloved now walks amongst the hamlet. In truth, I've always felt that I would be smitten at this, um, at, at, smittenly at their side like a small pup. I'm afraid, dear, di dear diary, at first, I believed it, um, it just my body, as thin loins do not cast a blaze when I look upon Lady Vixen. I went so far as to sneak into their lodgings last night, while it reeked of be uh, beloved, there was a so uh, second scent hidden within, beneath within their bedsheets and folded in a small cloth. It had taken me a while, but I think this Lady Vixen is likely not beloved. Very interesting. Very interesting. So there's some strange thing going on between Navarre and Lady Vixen. By the sounds of it, Lady Vixen may be wearing some sort of amulet or item of clothing that belonged to Navarre's beloved. And it's causing some sort of stare. But he knows. He knows that she has gotten out of that grave. She thinks that she's hidden it well. But Navarre knows that she has risen from the grave. 
and I'm interested to see how this plays out. Either way, really good writing from everyone. Welcome back to the writing staff, Blank, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.